<clears throat> here, not for me, but for we. And that means it's about you guys. It's not about me. It's about you guys and what you need in order to have the tools, technology, the resources, the information that you need to be successful when you get out of school. How many of you were really excited to hear from me, Ted Nguyen from OCTA, Government Agency, Bus, blah, blah, blah. Come on, let's be honest. Raise your hands if you were really super duper excited. Okay? That's great. I appreciate that, that honesty because it's about being honest, about being authentic, okay? Now, how many of you would have been thrilled to have a public relations professional representing Paris Hilton? Or Tom Cruise? Or Oprah Winfrey? Come on, let's be honest. Who would have preferred to hear from them? Right? <laughs> Celebrity PR. Right? That's where it's at. That's what, you know, I mean, you know, let's be honest. That's what, you know, that's what people think of when they think of PR, right? But would you believe it? That I actually work for celebrities. Not just one, not just two, but 17 celebrities. Why? I have 17 board of directors who are all elected officials. So the mayors of Anaheim, Costa Mesa, Huntington Beach. These are the superstars of the elected officials in Orange County. In your professional career, the early part of it, it's about internships. It's about internships, internships, internships. After I graduated, I had six, seven paid internships. Okay? After, you know, by the time I graduated. So it's all about internships and gaining the valuable experience necessary. So everything that you're hearing, you know, as far as good writing, good planning, Internships are so vital and so key. So find a cause, find a nonprofit, find something that interests you and volunteer. All of a sudden, public relations you know, has been this core of the four principles with you know, research, planning, implementation, and evaluation, right? So whatever the program, whatever the thing is, it's in that bubble, right? And, all, and why am I doing this? Because it's a bubble. It's a bubble. And then it goes. Cycles, right? And it always comes back, right? You know, here I am, right? I put myself out there. It's got my address and my phone number and my blog and the OCG website and my name. You know, so anybody that can wants to contact me, they can pick up the phone and talk to me. It's about being transparent, open, and authentic. This is a bit. I really do this every day, right? And I tweet every day. Wait, Yeah, the first one. Okay. On an octobus, octobus headed to social media presentation with PR students at Chapman University. Okay, so when did I do this? I did this about 40 minutes ago on the bus. Okay, so I did it using my iPhone. My personal iPhone. <laughs> Orange County Transportation Authority. I'm actually on a bus headed to Chapman University where I'm going to be making a presentation to the Advanced Public Relations class. Um, Joan Gladstone's class, or I should say, Professor Joan Gladstone's class. And, and I'm taking the bus with Michelle Chittenden, who is our current intern at OCTA, and she's a former graduate, or I should say, you're a graduate of Chapman, and you've actually studied public relations. So, so last minute details here. I'm preparing mentally for this presentation while I'm relaxed on this bus. What advice do you have for me, for the students? Well, go ahead and relax. Don't worry about it. Everybody at Chapman is amazingly kind. They'll welcome you with open ears. Um, everybody is going to want to hear about how their education at Chapman is going to trans uh, transfer into the professional world. Um, so whatever advice that you can give them on how their education, will, how they can use their education later, they will be all ears. Yeah, and I'm really excited about it. And I'm specifically talking about how to integrate social media into public relations programs like we have successfully have done, or I hope that we have successfully have done at OCTA. It took us like less than five minutes, right, to do the interview, to be authentic in using public transportation to come here, talk about what we're going to be talking about here, and then post it via the internet here. So fast, so easy, and it got broadcasted to 3,000 of my followers, right? And then those people will share with their followers and so on, and so on, and so on. Because you know what social media is, you guys? People think of it as like technology. It's high technology with high touch. It's the word of mouth communications. That is sometimes the most costly way of communicating, but it's also the most effective. We're kind of behind the curve when people are talking
talking about social media, it's like YouTube, it's all about Twitter and everything. And I think to myself, like, what's the big deal? Like, I don't really care about Ashton. How do you say his last name? Kutcher. Whatever his name is, you know? <laughs> I don't really care about, like, what he's doing for lunch and, you know, blah, blah. And then I was, like, looking into it, and then I had the interns, like, check it out. It's okay. You know, people are talking about it. There's something here, but I don't know what it is. So find out for me, right? So do the research and help me. You know, so I went to different seminars, you know, it's about research, right? So I was, like, getting all this information, right, for about a year and a half of information gathering. So just trying to make sure it does it work, is it effective, is it a good way of communicating, is it cost effective, is it a time dump, is it a brain dump. But I come to the realization, you know what it was, you guys, it was during the Iranian election. You know, you guys saw what happened, right? You know, people's voices were taken away from them. And it was all exemplified by one woman, a young woman, probably a little bit older than you guys, right? She was shot and killed. And when I found out what her name was, it was Neda, it means the voice in Farsi. And we didn't know about that through the traditional media. We heard about it through Twitter, through Facebook, through YouTube. And that was my aha moment. So I didn't want to be alone in tweeting and sharing all this great information. So I wanted to build momentum for other publications, these are sheriff's offices, cities, counties, let's see parts. So I started networking with people that are, I consider the superstars of social media. So everything I've learned, I've learned from those superstars. And they're sharing and imparting information on me so that I'm sharing with you folks. You guys probably know social media, but there's some things that I wanted to share with you, right? So online, we're trying to be environmentally friendly also, and it's all patterned after my computer bag. It's really my computer bag that I take. I don't have my um, Apple computer in there. But it's, you know, um, a, a toolkit, basically. It's, it's public evolvement. You know, everything that we do is public involvement, right? We just change it to say evolvement, and the slogan is, it's in the bag. All the tools that you need are in the bag to be successful. So what we did is we did, we shared this informational, um, you know, where we had standing room only people from all areas of uh, OC government to come and learn about social media. So I wanted to talk to you about the campaign. This is before the election when President Obama was saying the, the economy sucks. McCain was saying, no, it doesn't. The fundamental economy is wrong. The economy sucks. You know, you know back and forth, back and forth, right? But at OCT, we strategically positioned ourselves knowing that we had ready to go transportation projects that just lack funding. And whether or not you're Republican, Democrat, conservative, liberal, all people use roads, freeways, trains, buses, right? He, about five months ago, six, I don't know when it was, it was in January, he came to me and gave me a video camera and said, I need a thousand surveys and a hundred videotapes of, of people that are just talking about the economy, their current situation, ask them how they feel about investment transportation. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, a thousand surveys in one week and a hundred videos and who on earth is going to just be okay with me walking up to them and saying, hey, I'm going to videotape you and put you on a website. Like that doesn't really come across very well. Um, so I did it, and um, we ended up implementing a Facebook page for Orange County Ready to Work where we provide information, posted press releases, and then we also used it as a tool to collect surveys from some of my friends. Then um, we started reaching out to, of course, other, other publics and other parties and just asking them to fill out the surveys. So I was able to collect the <laughs> Um, I was able to collect a thousand surveys and we got the hundred videos. It became a huge part of the campaign just because what we really wanted to portray was that the public supports this. We didn't want to just be an agency that's going, hey, we need more money for transportation and not have some backing as to why we need it. And so we had all this support and I think it contributed to the success yeah. of the project. So we started these things called Transportation 2. They're you know, less than two minutes long. This is my blog. Posted information about the street figure. You see that in these streets and on GPU and And talking about, you know, you get there on public transportation. But, you know, here's just like something that was, you know, that just happened and we posted online. And something really quick, easy that's done. I'm Sarah Messier, and this is your transportation into. Great way of really posting information. And so many times, you know, I'm reading blogs, it's just like text, right? I am an avid reader, but I'm getting lazy. You know, I want to see photos and graphics and, and video. This is all easy, you guys. This is all shot on that little device. It's my personal flip camera. 